Revolting News presents Memorial for Allen Ginsberg The Cathedral Church of St. John the Divine May 14, 1998 Video Norman Savitt Allen Ginsberg, June 3, 1926 to April 5, 1997 journalist and he was a cable channel all by himself he was an investigative reporter without portfolio he was a guide into the american darkness without a press card without an outlet without a pulitzer prize no network would hire him no magazine pension plan insured him no schoolyard of fact checkers no control room of know-it-alls no media merger no beeper, no cell phone. He was never acquired or downsized. Disney or Murdoch. Before logos and branding, he branded himself. Always there with the news we never knew. The anchor of GNN, the Ginsburg News Network. The poet ahead of the news with the times never quite able to catch up. We miss you, Alan. All right. Danny Schechter. Yeah! Okay. Who remembers Ohm? I, I remember uh, in the, just before the Chicago riots, August 27, 1968, uh, with Allen Ginsberg. Oh, he'd owned so long that he had lost his voice, and he was croak-oming. <laughs> but let's do it. And it was so popular in about 69 that uh, Tony, who's the guy? The Odd Couple satirized it on television. I don't know. All right, let's do it. You know. Oh, no. come on, I'll hear you. This is a great, beautiful cathedral. Oh, you hear it, Alan? Oh.
I should have thrown them into the garbage pail. But I did not because they were on sale. <laughs> For being so cheap, I have messed up my feet. Messed up my feet. For being so cheap. For being so cheap, I have messed up
I think it may have been the last piece that we actually performed together. I've asked Patty Smith to join me.
meditations on the cremation of his teacher. Um, when I lost a loved one, Alan said to me, gave me the words that his teacher had given to him. Let go of your loved one and continue your life celebration. And so, of course, we must let go of Alan. But in continuing our life celebration, if we are active, if we speak out, if we are unpassive, if we open our hearts, if we cry out, if we spit upon injustice, we are still holding Alan a bit with us. I'm joined by Lenny Kay, J.P. Doherty, Tony Shanahan, Oliver Ray, Philip. These words are from uh, footnote to Hal.
I myself am no politician, am not politically articulate, not even a very good activist, but we all do what we can. But if you feel like you can do more, remember that that one man, just think of all the shit that one man did, and we can't forget. We don't even have to remember him, remember his energy. And everybody, the time is now. Do what you can. It's time to wake up. Wake up once again. It's time to wake up again. Show some explanation. Yeah. Red and black are the anarchist colors. You all knew that. Uh, the Finland station is in Saint was in Saint Petersburg, where he came in from Finland, where Lenin and other revolutionaries landed after their trip uh, through Germany to uh, begin the Bolshevik Revolution. More is. Uh, Another name for Marx, a nickname. He was dark skinned. The general uh, was Engels' nickname. He had been a military man of sorts, a Prussian army. Uh, Saint Paul, you know, Saint Francis, you know. Jacob Frank was an 18th century Polish Jewish Catholic pansexualist messiah. He was all of these things. And. Um, when he became a Catholic also, he, uh, uh, the sexual, his sexual uh, theories and practices got on the nerves of the bishops. They put him in jail for uh, 14 years. Uh, and he was, he finally got out, he recanted, I suppose, and uh, spent the rest of his life in Switzerland. Uh, she was charged with blasphemy. The United Colony ended that way too, when people were having too much, uh, Sex, good sex. Uh, uh, H. Mencken once said that uh, a, pur a Puritan is someone who uh, somewhere so uh, suspects that somewhere, somehow, sometimes someone is having too much uh, uh, enjoyment or pleasure out of life. Okay, so this is uh, called Painted Red and Black. I see the White House and I want to paint it red. Rabbi Jesus whispers to me, Besser red than dead. I see the Kremlin and I'm gonna paint it black. Clinton's toasting Yeltsin, throw your bourgeois hack. I spoke to Tolstoy, Emma Goldman's coming back. He just sat there writing on a shot of red and black. Black and red, coming back. Red and black, they're coming back. The homeless alien marks to Newt's son of a bitch. The social being served up dessert for the rich. The lines of reason strobe the deep grave of your dream. The lamb of love hides in the caves of academe. I hear the students as they wonder what comes next. They're forced to take the test, but do not have the text. They wander through the world wild internet. They still believe they'll find the Finland station yet. I heard more and the general laughing in their hell. <laughs> Ha, 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 they said, Bakunin had a funny tale to tell. Anarcho-pacifist Bolshevism never had its chance. Perhaps we could invite St. Francis to the dance, and hey, St. Paul and Jacob Frank. I see the White House, and I want to paint it red. Billy Rice is shouting at me, that's a bed than dead. Now Billy's roasting Yeltsin, so long bourgeois black, I spy the Kremlin, hey, we gotta take it back. Red and black, we're coming back. Black and red, we're coming back. Red and black, black and red, red and black, red and black. Red and black, coming back, red and black.